What's up guys welcome to my channel so today we will see the Mortal OS 14th July official update on our Redmi K20 Pro so don't waste time let's boot. So if you guys don't know about Mortal OS then let me tell you what it is. So basically this ROM is ported from the global version of MIUI 12 and the developers are working hard to make this MIUI more faster, more smoother and more sporty. So let's see a basic review of it. So first tap and twist by two fingers to get the home launcher setting. So here we can see the MI launcher as a default home screen launcher and we can add a app drawer like Poco launcher or you can use it as the regular one. After that you will get a app vault option where you can hide all of your applications. Then you can see a enabling option is given to fill the empty cells of uninstalled apps. And also we get check to fill empty cells option. So basically what is it? If your applications are messy then just shake your phone and you will see that your applications are rearranged in order. So it seems to me a pretty good feature. Then in below section we get icon size changer, home screen layout changer and etc etc. Now in wallpaper section you can see some mortal waste logo wallpapers which are quite impressive and you can also use the super hot wallpaper which is working perfectly on it. If you guys want to download those APKs then go check the description box I already provided the links there. Now in case of volume panel layout there is nothing new they just added some DND and countdown options which are quite helpful. Now if you scroll down from the right side of the screen you can see a quite ISO type toolbar is given with some necessary tiles and if you scroll down from the left side you will get a nicely animated notification panel now let's see what we get in the settings so in the settings section first we get my device option where it's showing the mortal voice version 12.7.9 beta with a mortal voice logo and other specs and also we can see a water bucket animated storage logo which makes this rom quite impressive in down below the all specs section it's showing the rom is based on android 10 q and the security level is 1st july 2020 and here is used perf kernel as a stock one so in the network section you can see the volt is working perfectly and you can also use the H device calling and the wi-fi calling which are also working perfectly now in case of wi-fi there is no issue with it now let's see the bluetooth so here it is also working perfectly there is no issue with it you can see that it's connected with my echo dot now in always on display first you can see a on off button of it then you can see some themes of always on display so here you'll get some extra themes which are not available in MIUI stable one and you can also download those themes from the theme store and down below you can see three types of charging animations on ambient display so let's see what is it so first one is flow so it looks like the older one which you can get on MIUI 11 now the second one is flow which is looks like similar to the flow but it's quite futuristic and the last one is web and I like its animation much more. In spite of those there is some other options like pocket mode detection and the launch camera option. Now in display section you can see anti flicker mode is given and there is a dark mode option where we can change the theme to the dark theme and you can also get a full screen gesture system where you can use the full screen gesture now in sound and vibration section you will get the similar features which are in MIUI and you will get the default ringtones and the notification tones and in sound assistant section you can enable multiple audio sources where you can play two different songs at the same time now in down below you will get a sound effect option where you can enable the hi-fi audio and the equalizer option when your headphone is plugged in so guys you can see that when I plugged my earphone the options got active and you can now enable the hi-fi audio and there is some earphone presets so you can choose according to your earphone and there is a equalizer for you and you can adjust the volume according to your age. Now in security section we get fingerprint and face unlock both features over there and let's test the fingerprint. So you can see that this fingerprint is working so faster I am just tapping on it and it's unlocking my phone. So I guess there is no issue with the FOD. Now let's test the face unlock. So you can see that the face unlock is also working so faster and it's unlocking before the camera fully comes out. So there is no issue with FOD and face unlock they both are working super fine. 
Now in battery section you can see a pretty cool battery logo over there and we can also see a battery optimization option and there is battery saver and ultra battery saver options. Now in down below you get to see a nicely animated battery usage graph where you can see your active and ideal drains. Now in additional settings section first you will get the full screen display option where you can change the navigation options and there is a quick ball option here and you can use it as a shortcut use. Now going back to the screen time option here you will get to see a dashboard of your daily screen time uses of applications. And if you are so much phone addicted then you can set a daily screen time limit for you. It will warn you when you will reach the limit. And secondly there is a focus mode option. If you turn it on by set a timer then you can't able to access your phone until it's reached the time. Now in special features there you will get a game turbo mode and it will automatically turn on when you are playing games. And also you can get a floating window option and it's really workful to us. And here you can change the front camera sounds from this front camera effects section. And in down below we'll get a my UI lab and a light mode option for your theme. So guys this was some features of this ROM and I don't even see any kind of animation lags or bugs on this ROM. If you guys find any then comment below. So guys now let's talk about the performance of this ROM. So guys I tested 2 or 3 kernels on this ROM and I ran benchmark test. So there are the result screenshots with their names. But in spite of this kernel, I got best performance on Fixi version 0.24 and on the perf kernel which is the stock one. So in the end, you guys will maybe ask me, is this ROM is best for gaming? Then I would like to say, until developer exists, all ROMs are second best. But uh, I played PUBG matches and I don't get any kind of frame drops or lags on it. So if you guys are looking for a gaming ROM with MIUI launcher, then and go for it so guys if you want to install this rom then i already made a video on it you can check the i button there is the link and also you can check the description box i already provided the link there and if you guys need any kind of help then you can join our telegram channel i'll be there for you and if you guys like the video then like share and subscribe my channel it will help me to do more thanks for watching bye bye